Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Nom 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 69 back here, continuing our SDL Pong Let's Make a Game tutorial. So, in our last episode, we set up our player paddle, our AI paddle, and our ball, and we drew them to the screen. So, in this episode, we want to move our paddle. So, what do we need to move our paddle? Well, I personally want our W paddle, our W key, <laughs> not our W paddle, our W key to move it up and our S to move it down. So where are we going to put this? We are going to put this in our logic function. So how should we gather this? I don't like SDL key down events at all. They are horrible, horrible. They're just, I just don't like the way they work. So we're going to use key states. So the thing about key states, if you're going to use them in other games besides like this Pong we're using, remember before you try to gather the key states, you need to pull events. So that way like the keyboard will have an accurate update of it. So anyways, so within our logic, we first need to gather our key state. So we need to do a UN8, an unsigned 8-bit integer pointer, little a pointer to it with the uh, multiplication sign key states equals SDL get key state get key states get key state yep get key state and num keys we're just gonna pass a null gather every single one of the keys. All right, that's just because I don't really care. Like we want to get all the keys. We may not use them all, but we want to have them there in case we do need them. So if W is pressed, we want to move our paddle up. So if key states uh, SDLK W right here, if W was pressed, we want to move our paddle up. And we'll just copy that if statement down for our A, so if A is pressed, if S I mean, if S is pressed, we want to move it down. So let's talk about computer graphics before we go into our, um, into how we're moving it. In, the, in most of the real world, the zero, zero would be down here. But in computer graphics, the zero zero is not in the bottom left hand corner, is in the upper left hand corner. Zero zero starts here. So as you go up in the Y, like Y, you were moving when we move down the screen, we're moving up in the Y. So when we press W, we want to change our player paddle. Player paddle dot Y. We want to minus equal one. We want to subtract one from it. And so the opposite when we press S, we want it to move down. We want our player paddle dot y to plus equal one okay and not plus equals one not plus plus one plus equals one okay so now we run this we we'll compile and run it and boom there's our paddle moving up and down when we press the w and s keys now here's something funky about the sdl fill rect function i've noticed and i don't know why it does it but say we come up here near the top of the screen and send our paddle off and like we get rid of half of it well when you bring the paddle back down it's gone that part's just gone and the same thing with the bottom we need to not that uh not that this is the only reason why we're doing it because like part of the paddle will get deleted but we also need to do it because we want to trap our player paddle on the screen so that way the player can keep playing and to prevent this from happening so up here in our logic we need if player paddle dot y becomes less um, less than one. Want to be want, we want it to become less than one, so that way when it gets to the top and goes less than one, it'll hit zero. And once it goes below zero, it'll start deleting pixels off of our thing. So if it's less than one, we're gonna have our player paddle dot y equals one okay we're just gonna set it to one and then if player paddle that's for the top half of the screen right there we need to make it so it's off the bottom half so if player paddle dot y becomes greater than our screen height 600 we want to set our player paddle dot y equal to 600 right no we don't because what happens is our y coordinate, I'm going to run this real quick. Our y coordinate for our um, our x and y coordinate here is up here in this corner where my mouse cursor is. I hope you can see it. Is up there. 
So when we move down, we've got that code in there. You still go off the screen, and then that's gone. We need if our player paddle dot y plus our player paddle dot height instead of instead of six hundred, we're gonna do five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Um, if it's greater than five ninety nine, we're gonna have player paddle dot y equal not six hundred. We're gonna have five ninety nine minus player paddle dot height. We're gonna have it minus the height from five ninety nine. So now when we play our game, it's locking our paddle on the screen. We can't go up or down and now our paddles stay in there locked. This is good. This is what we wanted. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna cut off the tutorial here but before I do uh, I wanna go over what we did today. We didn't add any more variables except down here but it's a local one. We didn't modify our load game. All we did was handle logic today. So we did the UN, UN8 key states, pointer to key states equals SDL get key states. We gathered all of our key states and if W is pressed, we move our paddle up. If S is pressed, we move it down by adding one and up, move it up by subtracting one because of how graphics work. And if our player paddle dot Y becomes less than one, we'll make it equal one so that way it doesn't go off the screen. And if our player paddle dot Y plus player paddle dot H comes greater than 599, we make it so our player paddle dot Y equals 599 minus the height. So that way it always stays on the screen. Thanks for watching, guys. Next tutorial, I think we're going to make our ball move, which will be fun. And we're going to make him bounce all around the screen. So right now, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later in our next tutorial. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys later.